Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today I want to talk with you about the pub.dev and library packages so that we can use code that other developers has written as a package inside of our Flutter application. For that I will use the so-called Google Fonts um, package that has provided by the Google team to use their Google Fonts website. And this is what we want to do together and now let's get started. All right, so instead of, as we always do, jumping into Android Studio and starting to code, today we want to do something slightly different. First, we open our browser and jumping directly on pub.dev. And pub.dev is the packaging system of Dart and Flutter with that. And here we can search other packages that other smart developer had created for us that we can use it in our applications. And one of these is, for example, Google Fonts. <clears throat> this you can see, you will get, if you search for it, um, as, um, different search results. For example, here up here, we have the one with the most high or with the most highest, um, with the highest score which comes from the analytics that Google and uh, do on these Dart packages. And if you jump right into the first one, you can see it has already 239 likes, which is pretty much. It is um, published on the January 23. And you can see um, a little GIF that explains what to do. It explains what it does, how you can use it, and so on and so forth. And also you can jump into the GitHub repository, for example, to immediately see how active the people are in the last commits. Also, you can see that uh, in that case, the Google team was very um, kind to us and provided that package for us. So we can use the 977 fonts that exists on fonts.google.com. If you don't know that page, if you jump onto that, you can see here are all the fonts that you can use directly inside of our apps and also in the web applications. And all of them are completely free to use and Google encourages that. So today we want to use this Google Fonts package and how do we do that? First, we read through the API here and I just screen about it what I need. So in my case, I have to import Google Fonts, but first we have to install it. And if we jump into install, you can see we have to add in our pubspec.yaml a dependency. And so let's do that together. So we jump right into our Android Studio code. And as you can see, I created already a scaffold with an app bar and a container. And the main.dart is just basic and opens up the home screen. And as you can see in our project, there is that pubspec.yaml file. And if we jump into a site here, we see it has a lot of documentation. Again, a lot of uh, comments that you can read and informs you about the environment. And there is also one section called dependencies. So, and here we have to organize all our dependencies. One of them is now our new Google fonts with the numbers. And be very concrete inside of YAML files because they always consist of two spaces. So if you have only one space, that will not work. And if you have three, it's also going not to work. So they have to be two spaces behind that. Intentation sensitive. So be very strict and specific about that or you get some errors that you don't like. After that, you can press here packages get or execute in your command line flutter packages get. And with that, you get now the packages of Google Fonts. And if we take a look inside of our external libraries down here, you can also open up the Dart packages and search for the Google Fonts. And if you search here inside, and I'm doing that right now, you find now the open source information about Google Fonts. And what you can do is you can jump into it and can read how they get used, how this works, and so on and so forth, which is pretty neat. Good, but for our case, we just want to use it. And so we can jump right back into our home screen.dart. All right, so in our home screen, the Google fonts, we want to use them inside of our text widget here. And to do so, we have to specific the style and say then Google fonts dot, uh, dot, and now the name of the font that we want to show. For my occasion, I would like to take Pacifico because it is a very beautiful font. And what happens now is it 
uses that specific value. And as you can see, you can specify inside of Pacifico different parameters like color, font size, and so on. And you can also say you want to override the text style again, and also the font style and the decoration style. So that means instead of doing it immediately here, we already give him the font, Pacifico, and if we save now, we should see that Hello World has immediately changed. To make it a bit more bigger, we imp uh, improve the font size to 38 dot, uh, pixels, or a bit less, let's say 62. Don't take too much space. And you can see it immediately takes that font. And we can also change this font as you wish to something else like Aladdin. And you see, immediately we see the different font here. So we can see that Aladdin returns as a text style, right? Because we need for that text, a text style widget. What, what happens if we want to adjust that text style, even if we have a Google font already inside? I already showed you that there is a property like text style itself. So we can give him another text style that we provide him. So for example, we can change the colors here and say we want to have the color in Let's give it an orange this time. And if I save, you can see immediately the text style is taken place inside. So with that, we have full control over the widget still. The text will change immediately like we want to. And we have type safety against the Google Fonts library. And this is really a great thing. And you can see very quickly, we can change the fonts. Right, so that's about it. We used pub.dev to get a package from the Dart team, uh, from the Google team in that specific case. We got that Google Fonts package, we used it, we installed it in our application, we took a brief look inside of, our, of that package, and you can take a much deeper look into it, and we also set the text style after we already implemented the font. That's for today. Thank you so much for watching me. As always, you can click on the right on the subscribe button and at the top of me, there will be two videos that you will like. And whenever you have a question, please let me know on Twitter or on the comments below. And else, thank you for watching and see you guys later.